What's up, what's up guys? This is the Motivational Gamer KillWix bringing you guys another video. So today we're experiencing experiencing a little bit of lag, so I apologize for the choppiness. Um, again, like we're, we're recording from a different location, uh, so the, the string quality is a little bit lower. Nothing is going to stop us from bringing you guys content though, so, so don't worry. Um, no matter what, we will get it out to you. Uh, and that's my promise to you. So today, we are going to be showcasing high res. Uh, we're going to be talking about what we can do to help high res get better in his game. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get this party started and dive right in. So as always, let's start from the very beginning. And let's look at all these magnificent one stars. All right, so... We're just waiting here a little bit for this to load. All right, now we're in business. So, again, this is going to be all fodder, 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 fodder. Uh, Kume, obviously, is going to be awakened. He has three Wind Lizard men. So, if you guys are missing the Wind Lizard men, make sure you give Hyrule a call because he's the one that has them. So, see if I'll send you one. Uh, again, I covered Kali. Uh, Kali's getting a nerf pretty soon here. So, she's going to be a little bit less effective than she was, but she's a very, 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 very valuable in-game uh, arena unit, simply because of her uh, guaranteed ignore defense. Uh, Fire Beast Hunter, water, all of these guys are fusion. Water Charging Shark, again, potential uh, hell farmer for Feynman. So if you're having trouble deciding who your farmer is going to be, and you happen to have a Water Charging Shark, and you don't have any other like strong natural 4 stars or natural 5 stars, uh, he is definitely a viable route to go. Uh, when floating hat is food, food, food. Uh, Seek is pretty good again. Again, late game. Uh, that's when he's going to come into play. And then who we got here? Water Griffin food. Okay, we also have the Water Phantom Thief here. is a very awesome unit. Uh, especially again, he's going to be for arena and uh, guild battle. He has a. Uh, he attacks all enemies, decreasing their attack bars by 50% and weakens their defense, which is going to be a key skill uh, for the Water Phantom Thief. Second skill, he binds the enemy and inflicts damage up to three times, and each attack has a 60% chance to decrease the enemy's attack speed. So again, he's more of a crowd control unit. Um, first, first skill, inflicts damage to announce the crime and stuns the enemy for one turn. So this guy is going to be your stun speed control unit. He's awesome, awesome, awesome. Again, he's not going to come into play till later. Um, you're not, it's not really, he's not really going to be beneficial in dungeons as of yet. Again, stun units I recommend more specifically for arena because once you get to the boss, it's kind of no point. Uh, you don't really need AoE death rate because there's so many, or excuse me, like in gi giants or dragons because there's so many other things that you're focusing on, you know, in the dungeon. Um, Soha is one of the best hell farmers for Feynman, period. Um, hands down, there's not very many units that are better than her for farming, so I'd keep that in mind um, for for the future when you're developing a consistent farmer. Let's see who else? Uh, Water Self Tyron is, you know, absolutely awesome. He's going to be pivotal uh, in your arena strength. He's one of the best units in the game. Period. Like his skill set is absolutely ridiculous. Like when you look at what he can do, um, if if you if you got lucky and you got Tyron. Especially as you get into endgame, guys, he should be your primary focus. He can be a farmer unit for sure, especially with all of his crowd control. Uh, if you build him as a nuker, definitely can do it. Um, again, sick, sick unit. Fire Ninja, a lot of people look at him and they like him because of his passive where he has a 50% chance to survive. Um, but that, you know, again, that's going to be a YOLO thing where you're playing the survivability calculator. You know, where you're just trying to see what's going on. Granted, he can be built, and he can do some major damage. It's kind of just up to you, especially since he has a high base attack. Again, he's just not going to be a priority fo focus. Shannon, always good. Fire Reaper, eh. Rena, only good till about mid-game. Dark Living Armor is absolutely freaking awesome, uh, period. Another Arena unit that's going to shine really hard. Um, him and Copper are like one of the top two uh, defense units in the game that's going to really do some major damage for you and help clear some stuff out. Um, Diaz, the dark version of Darien. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I mean, you can either use him or Darien. It just depends on which one you like better. They both basically do exactly the same thing. Uh, let's see. Tion, good res unit. Again, he just takes a lot of work. I prefer Kona over Tion, but that's just a personal preference. Tion can come into play. However, if you, the only problem that I see with him is if you use his heal to heal, you basically burn your res. 
like if you're running him with another res unit or another heal unit, I'd say he's good. But that's just taking up too many necessary slots in in your team. Um, however, if you're running a Kona uh, Tion combo, the double resurge can be very very effective, specifically in guild battle when paired with another unit that reduces defense and deals a lot of damage. Keep that in mind. Um, but that's enough. That's all I'm going to say about Tion. I mean, you guys already know about the capability of the Light Trio. I mean, the Light Trio is absolutely awesome. If you haven't built this team, you need to build them, period. It doesn't matter if you're getting sick natural 5 stars or if you're getting, um, you know, regular nat 4s. This team is absolutely paramount. Uh, specifically, Bella. Bella is absolutely awesome. And she's going to help you, period. No matter where you are in your game, uh, Bella is absolutely awesome, guys. So, uh, you know, I get this question quite a bit, you know, where they're like, well, if I, you know, if I'm getting that fours or whatever, 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 do I still need to focus on, um, on the light trio? Hell to the yes. Because if you don't, um, you're going to miss out on some valuable support, especially since these units are some of the best units in the game, period. So let's go. Now that, that we've done that, let me fix my screen here because I accidentally click kick. Um, and, and move forward. So next we have Yen. Uh, Yen's going to be very, very, very valuable when it in terms of like uh, Giants B10, etc., etc., etc. Just because she applies three constant da continuous damage stacks. Um, very, very useful in B10 as an attacker. So can be a focus, but just keep in mind that's pretty much going to be her only use. Uh, simply because as you move into the arena, etc., you're going to run into uh, some really, really heavy hitting wind units and really heavy hitting fire units. So the the problem uh, that you'll be faced with Yen is she's really only good in key situations. Um, so that's really your call as to whether you want to build her or not. Again, she's going to be the, like the basic Swift Focus or Violent Blade, you know, like you have her or anything like that. She can deal some tremendous damage to water and uh, other wind units. Uh, but again, to capitalize her on the most, you need absolutely the most speed on her as possible. Period. Because if she goes second or third, there's a chance that she won't get a turn. Uh, Fire Inferno food, Winnie Nogami, Potential Farmer. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen the video with YDCB uh, where he played with Randy. Uh, Randy has a, a very, very high, high, high damage potential. So if you guys get a chance, check out YDCB's video uh, where he showed his new toy when he was playing with Randy, hitting for like 40 or 50k. So it can be viable. Again, it's going to be an end game unit. Fire Yeti is decent. Uh, if you have other units, though, he's not going to come into play. Food, all of this is food. Water Lich, I just have to apologize to you right now. Um, they still haven't fixed the Water Lich at all. Uh, maybe they'll patch him correctly and he'll work the way he's supposed to work. But until then, I, yeah, uh, just put him on the sidelines. I'm sure they'll do something to him. All right, guys, so getting into the money here. So uh, High Res has a Wind Occult Girl, all right? So all of the Occult Girls are absolutely beast. Um, he has he's running her with a despair focus, which is absolutely sick, especially when paired with her skills, because most of her skills are AOE. Um, so she's running around, she's uh, decreasing the attack bar, um, she's summoning a doll knight to hit all enemies, offering a chance to stun, and on top of that, she summons a teddy bear to attack the enemy, uh, which has a 20% chance to put the enemy asleep. And if he lands asleep, the occult girl gets another turn. She summons a teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, she summons a teddy bear. So. Um, a co girl is absolutely awesome, dude. Like, uh, just make sure, like, on a room, let's check out her info here. So, you have her accuracy very, very low. Uh, you're going to want to get her accuracy up. Uh, key thing when you're building your co girl is the three main stats that you're going to want is crit rate, crit damage, accuracy. Uh, you're going to want to maximize her damage. Um, in order to do that, I mean, so you already have, what, despair focus now, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, yeah, despair focus. So, focus should be the runes that cap your accuracy. Uh, they shouldn't be a crutch uh, just in case. So um, as you move through the game, you'll start getting better um, substats. Uh, you, I mean, you can build her HP. I mean, you got the, these HP stuff, this HP stuff going on. But again, like I said, attack, crit damage, um, and accuracy. You get those three things up, dude, you'll have a beast on your hand. Uh, she already has, uh, when she gets the six star, a, a relatively high base HP. So when you get these things up, um, especially speed will come up naturally with that as you move into you know late game she'll become a completely different unit and she's very 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 awesome and uh, Giants B10 so keep that in mind and if you're building a primary damage dealer for your Giants B10 team it should be her a uh, period nobody else in here can even hold the candle 
Uh, so next we have um, Shikan. Uh, again, fusion material, so we're not going to get into him too much. Another fusion, uh, Lucian. All right, so I, I, is this the first time I've seen a Lucian? I think this is the first time we've had the opportunity to cover Lucian. Uh, so we're going to get into this pretty heavy. So Lucian is absolutely a beast. The thing that you need to remember about Lucian here, when you're ruining Lucian, is honestly, runes benefit Lucian, but if you can get his attack power as high as you possibly can, he's great. Um, Crit damage will come into play with Lucian after you get his crit rate, like specifically above 70%. 50% is not enough for Lucian to really see a yield. So I recommend getting your crit rate on your Lucian past 70%, then switching to a Rage Blade. Um, once you get the Rage Blade going on with the 50, with the 70% crit rate and you max his attack and crit damage, the dude is a monster. He's, he's an absolute monster. I mean, you're talking 25k plus damage. Easy. Uh, if you end up getting a second Lucian running a double Lucian comp, it's it's very, very, very um, possible for you to be hitting for 50, 60k, maybe even 70k damage, um, you know, in two to three turns. So keep that in mind when building uh, your Lucians, guys. Attack power, attack power, attack power, crit rate 70% or above, crit damage as high as you can get it. Uh, you meet those requirements, you will have a beast on your hands. Um, and that's all we're going to say about him. Congratulations, dude, on your Lucian. Uh, Lucian is awesome, especially all the way through Count 2 uh, until people start getting smart and they start putting shield runes on their units. Um, Wind Warbear, great. Uh, again, end game. He's your just in case shit happens. Tanks fire units very, very well in Guild Wars and uh, in Arena. Uh, key thing on him is if you're building him for the arena, make sure you got HP stubs, substats and percentages on every single rune, and you're going to want to get his resistance as close to 100% as possible so you don't have to worry about people stun locking him and uh, him being absolutely worthless when he gets to uh, really low HP. Uh, Atanai, I covered before, awesome, awesome clutch healer unit because she balances life with the entire party and she increases the HP by 15%. Um, as as the skill maxes, it's more, but she is sick. She's awesome and she's irritating as hell because there's not a lot of like um, strong units that count her other than you know high attack water units, which there aren't that many of them, but uh, that are good. But she is a great great unit that'll also come into play in game. Now Velajul, so you have two sick units here. You have the Windico girl and you have uh, Velajul, uh, who is also going to come into play. Uh, Vela Jewel Veramos combo is absolutely retarded. Uh, it's like there's nobody's gonna land anything on you. Uh, Vela Jewel is sick, so he deals a crap ton of damage, especially as you start getting his defense, which you should be doing right now. Um, when you start getting his defense close to 3k, um, he's he's he hits for a lot. I've seen Vela Jewel's quit crit for 35,000 damage. Uh, key thing on your Vela Jewel, dude, is I know it says support. I get it. But what you need to understand about Velajul is the only thing support about him is the immunity that, that he gets for three turns. But all of his damage that increases according to his defense build him as a damage unit, period. Uh, Velajul is there to hit very, very hard. You want to get his defense as high as possible. You might, I mean, you get some, you know, some HP on him through substats. But defense, 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 defense. If you throw some crit damage on there, defense percent with crit damage... And his crit rate, you elevate that crit rate, just, oh my god, dude. This guy hits so freaking hard. Like, so hard. So, the immunity is already there, so you don't need anything crazy. Still finish your Veramos Fusion, even though you have them. These two pair together make a sick, sick combo. Especially as you get into Dragon's B10, dude. He's going to come into play. He hits very hard. He's going to help you clear those crystals and those stupid towers. Because when you get his crit rate, crit damage up with the defense percent, he is a beast um so again you can either run a full guard stack um you don't really need the energy runes again i know it's a support but you're not really going to be building an hp type i mean you can but you're missing out on so much uh with Velajul when you're building him full hp uh he's going to get some hp anyway from substats but hp is not his primary focus get his guard up build him like basically he's the fire version of the copper um get some attack on this guy and you'll be amazed at what he can do obviously he's going to you know give you immunity and all that good stuff here with skill three but um just test him out and see what he can do uh immunity what's uh, what do you have his speed at currently let's see here yeah uh so you you oh my my god dude uh, i'm excited for you to have Velajul. 
Uh, just again, defense, 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 dude, and you will have a beast on your hands. Uh, I, I'm just going to move move the page over now. So next we're on Beretta. Beretta is going to be your basic despair focus with HP. Uh, HP, HP, HP. I know uh, his, his, his build says attack, but honestly he's best as a support unit. He's going to come more into play into TOA and, and late Dragons. Um, so you can start building him around Dragons B8, B9. Um, just because he is viable as a speed lead if you don't have Verde, which you don't. Uh, so you can use him as a speed lead to spearhead your uh, your Dragons team until you get Veramos. Uh, McKeon, again, Fusion, uh, Water Mammoth, and Water Fairy, all of that stuff is feedable. Water Mammoth is very good, though. is awesome in Dragons B10 and Giants B9. Uh, again, he, he can be a primary focus just because of the defense buff and the heal, but he's just mainly a support healer, and to take damage, he's a stayer. But other than that, there are going to be a lot better units that you can use. So what's going to be your primary focus right now? Because right now you got um, you got some sick units, dude. Water or Cold Girl, first and foremost. Um, well, not really first and foremost, but she's going to be a main priority for you. Uh, right now what you need to do is just stop everything that you're doing and you need to focus on your Light Trio. Uh, your Light Trio, all three of them need to be 5 star max, period. And you need to get some better runes on these guys. Um, all of your team, the, your Light Trio is 15k HP minimum. Uh, let's see, let's look at Amon here. So I see you're looking to finish his vi violent set. Again, you know, get his crit rate as close to 100% as possible or 100%. Uh, but you're going to want to focus on these guys. Uh, these three core units here are going to help you out, period, you know. And then get a buffer unit like Megan or Shannon. Um, if you don't have Megan, just use Shannon. And then, uh, let's see, who's your farmer right now? Your farmer is, I don't know who your farmer is. Uh, you can use Water or Cold Girl as your farmer, you can use Rog as your farmer, or you can use uh, Yen also as your farmer. But those three units, Shannon, and uh, you can run your Wind of Cold Girl as the lead, or you can run anything else. You can, hell, you can even run Veligil. Um, Velig <laughs> Dude, you have some crazy units. Don't run Velig Veligil as your lead. I'm sorry, I forgot a uh, HP lead. Uh, but start focusing, getting your, dragon your Giants team together, dude. Um, your Light Trio is going to be your primary focus. Again, Shannon needs to be 5 star max. Uh, your first 6 star, like right now, you have all of these units. Your first 6 star should either be Amon, Bella, or... Yeah, Amon or Bella first. Or if you want to focus on farming, like if you want to do Hide Night Hell Stage 5 with your Occult Girl, you can 6 star her first. Uh, but the key thing is really start honing in these runes, especially your Fire Archangel's runes, because he's going to come into play here. Uh, as you get into uh, dragons, um, but for giants right now, primary focus: light trio, Shannon, get her a five star max, and uh, find yourself either a speed lead or somebody who specifically like the occult girl. Start working on her uh, to get her ready, because giants be ten. She's gonna play a huge, huge part. Finish your Veramos fusion, and you'll have your HP lead, and you can kind of fill in from there. But like I said, dude. Focus on the key concepts. You've got all these other great units that are that will fill in as you get your core better. Right now, though, you just have a ton of units all over the place, and so you're probably running into a wall because you lack the support. Once you get support, support is support is the key to your success, dude. I can't stress this enough, high res. And once you get those support units in place, bro, you'll be amazed at how much further you 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 go. Uh, and your again, your problem is not having great units. You got two nat fives that people would kill for. Uh, you got Beretta already, who's already going to be pivotal for all of TOA, all of uh, Dragons. Uh, you got McKean already, who's a reser who you can fill in and use. Um, Water Fairy's going bye bye. You got Lucian, who's a 30 second clear at Hide Night Ruins Hell Stage 5. I mean, you got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but again, you need to focus on your support, dude, and you'll be fine. So that brings this video to a close. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you, Hi-Rez, for allowing me to review your account. You got some pretty sick units that will really really shine once you get some better runes on these guys and um you know you got any questions comments concerns just post in the comments or shoot me a message and uh with that being said guys this brings this episode to a close uh next episode we are going to be covering let me just take a look here check my notes here next one up we're covering Ginpachi. so thank you guys again i love all of you guys uh just wanted you to know that we would be nowhere without your tremendous support guys we, we've done a ton ton of subscribers uh we just hit 500 subscribers and uh we did that in less than two months and it's all thanks to you guys 
I'm so happy to be able to help all of you guys over the world. Um, we just got a request to do a cover, uh, a showcase in, on the Asia server, which we're going to be doing as well. And I just want all of you to know that uh, you guys, you know, mean the world to me, and I'm I'm happy to be able to help because I didn't have that help when uh, I was starting Summoner's War. So thank you. I love you guys, and we'll see you guys next video. Bye.